Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. This is Sharina with Sharina Shack Scraps and I would like to share this fun vintage project with you. This is a vintage mailbox with a stack of letters mini album. Uh, I wanted to create something fun for a Valentine's project that was kind of vintagey and I had this idea to make a stack of old letters. And so I got researching and looking and I figured out a way to make your mini album look like a stack of old letters, which is usually tied with simply with a just a piece of ribbon or maybe some jute thread. And that's this mini album here. Um, and where does a stack of old letters go? In an old vintage mailbox. So I'll give you a close up here. These flowers I just created with some punches. And I did some gold stamping here and here. And then this is a Tim Holtz key plate. And then I have not done anything nifty on the sides. The, pa the paper spoke for itself quite well. And then here's the top and it lifts open and that's where your mini album goes on the inside. Now here's the key that goes with the lock. And I've kind of distressed that up. I made this flower with some fun velvet ribbon that I had and I crocheted this flower down here. I want it to have some crochet look and I believe this is a seven gypsies piece here so it opens up just like this and then there's the top and I, I bound it with my um, my bind it all so here I've created a pocket with some of the embellishments then this opens up and here is also a pocket for more photos or other things. Now, I don't put a lot of stuff in these um, a lot of times because I teach classes at my local crafting store. And the more tags I put in, the more tags get lost on the display. So there's lots of places for tags that you just might not see a tag in every spot that there is one. So there's a pocket. And the top, whoops, it's getting away from me here. The top opens up and I just used this old paper. Oh, I better tell you, this paper is die cuts with a view. It's the Dear Jane paper and it just looks like old stack of letters. I absolutely loved working with it. Again, here is a pocket. And then here you can also add photos underneath there or more tags. And we'll just kind of I love how this turned out. It turned out really cute. And in the pattern, I show you how to do that. Places for more photos, journaling. Here you can add, like I said, a thing about the tags. Until I'm ready to put pictures in this, I don't always add a lot of tags because I know they'll just get lost in the display at the store. To be fond of dancing is to is a certain step toward falling in love. And I really love that saying because my husband and I danced our whole courtship. In fact, we taught dancing. Lots and lots of super fun memories. You can stick something underneath that. I love this pen. Very, very simple. Again, each one of these opens up to hold. And if you notice something here, this is not straight, which might bother some of you. <laughs> but I want it to look like a stack of old letters, which doesn't always stack straight. And so I purposely put those a little off center. And the last button. So again, you can purchase the tutorial for the vintage mailbox and the bundle of old letters uh, on my website at shereenashack.com under the mini albums tab. And if you, would if you like just the mini album, you can also purchase the mini album separate from the mailbox and the mini album. Thank you again for joining me today, and we'll talk to you next month. Bye.